Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here. Welcome back to the next PL300 test prep question. Today we're looking at a question as it relates to the summarize buy option inside of the Power BI desktop. Now to get a full understanding of what this does, I wanted to create a short little demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in the Power BI desktop and I have just this basic table here that has a column called in stock and then the name of the product and so as we look at this we're going to be focusing in on the in stock column here we can see that we have duplicate values here for comb and hair ties and also toothpaste and socks so we're going to be talking about what happens when we add this to a visual will it display all 10 items so we have a total of 10 items here so as we add this to a visual what is going to be displayed if we go to the modeling view we're able to see the properties about this column and so I'm selecting the column here in stock and down here is what I want to focus in on so we have some options down here at the bottom Notice that the summarize by option is set to none, which means it's not going to summarize this column, which means it's not going to summarize our in stock column by any certain aspect. If I look at the drop down arrow here, we can see that we have max, average, sum, distinct count, minimum, or account. And so in Power BI by default, any column that has numerical data in it or numbers is going to be auto summarized and so in this case I've turned it off it's set to none so it's not going to automatically summarize or count or give me an average of my in stock column and so as I go to the report view here and I drop the in stock column into this table what is going to be displayed and this is really where we have to understand what's happening with these values as we add them to the table and so the question is are we going to get our 10 values that we expect or are we going to get something different so let's go ahead and add it to the visual so i'm going to add in stock to this table and what we see here is that we don't get any of the duplicates so there were a total of 10 values inside of our table but if we just add this to a table visual notice that it's only giving me those eight distinct values there's none repeated but if I were to add another column which creates filter context into this visual so if I drop this product column in there we now will see those duplications we'll see the one duplicated and we'll see the five duplicated so with just the in stock column by itself with nothing else in the table we are not going to see any duplicates we are essentially going to see all of the distinct values when we start adding other columns into the visual that's when we're going to start seeing those duplicated values and we're going to get our entire data set returned so that now that we see what it does when we add a additional column in there what happens if we change that summarize by option what's going to happen to our values here so with default summarization or summarized by set to none, we see eight values here. But what happens when we change that summarization? So if I go here to my model view and I change the summarized by, let's maybe change it to sum or account or minimum, it really doesn't matter. Anything that we change this to, when we select a summarized by, what happens is the rows within inside that table so if I drop it in there now notice that it is now summed up 
all of those numbers. And so we are reducing the number of rows that are going to be displayed here. We're only getting that 42. I can also change this summarization by selecting the column and at the top of the screen column tools is going to appear and notice you can change that here as well and not just in the modeling view so I could change this to account and notice that when I do that though this does not change it's stuck on the sum but if I add it back to the table it's now going to give me a count and notice my count here is 10, but I'm still reducing the number of rows that are gonna be displayed. Let's go ahead and take a look at our test prep question. The question says you have a column named units in stock showed in the following exhibit. So we can see units in stock here. We can also see that the summarized by is set to none. It says units in stock has 75 non-null values of which 51 are unique. All right, so this is important here, understanding that we have 75 non-null values, so 75 values, and 51 of those are unique. So as we look at our answer options down here, it says when the table visual is created in the report and units in stock is added to the values, there will be blank in the table. How many rows are going to be in the table? Well, we saw this happen. Units in stock is the only thing that is added to that table. It is only going to display 51 rows, the distinct values, because there's no other filters in that table. So if it is added, it doesn't say anything about any additional columns being added to this visualization. It says when a table visual is created and unit is stock is added to the values, how many rows will there be? Well, without any other filter context, there is going to be 51 rows. It is only going to display the distinct values. The second part says changing the summarized by setting of the unit in stock column and then adding the column to the table visual will blank the number of rows in the table. Will it maintain, reduce, or increase? Well, we saw when we change that summarized by and we change it to a sum or a min or a count, it is looking at that column and is performing that operation. So we're no longer seeing all of the rows with inside of that table visual, we are now seeing a reduced amount. So the correct answer is going to be it reduces the number of rows in the table visual. I want to thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you in the next one.